The ideal Basenji is short-backed and lightly built, appearing taller than long. A wrinkled head, well-arched neck, a high-set tail that lies well-curled over to either side. Elegant, graceful, with a smooth balance that enables him to move with ease and agility in a swift and tireless trot. But without a doubt, the one characteristic that the Basenji is most noted for is its bark, or lack thereof. In the dog world, the Basenji is known simply as the barkless dog. Their form of vocal canine expression is not of a bark, but of a yodel. Because the Basenji can be a somewhat difficult breed to train, its intelligence is often questioned. But those who know Basenji's best feel that their mere survival is enough to disprove the myth. I think they're highly intelligent. I'm always trying to outsmart them, you know, because uh, they're just a little stinkers sometimes, and you have to be one step ahead of them all the time. And they're, they're very mischievous. They'll get into a lot of trouble, all these funny little things. They always are trying to escape. Lure coursing is a is a uh, sport uh, which tries to artificially recreate the dog's natural ability to hunt game by chasing it. Sight hounds like the greyhound and Afghan hound hunt with their eyes. Scent hounds like beagles and basset hounds hunt with their noses. But senjis are unusual in that they can do both. But in lure coursing, it's the sight of the lure in motion and not its scent that gets the animals in gear. But anyone considering making one a pet must understand its temperament, and like any other breed, consider the function for which it was originally developed. Patience is the key. Hearing certain things out in the street um, will get them going. Like if they hear people out there late at night talking, they'll get all excited and start spinning around and running, jumping up on the couch, on the tables. Um. Always entertaining, one thing's for sure, there's never a dull moment in a Basenji home.